Today I will look into a little bit different Vanidium Redox flow battery. So the Vanidium Redox flow battery is some really interesting battery, especially because the chemistry by itself is really robust and also the battery can last for a really really long time. But the negative side of the battery is of course the small energy density and the price for making this kind of battery, especially on some small scale, can be sometimes really expensive. And for this reason the Vanadium Redox flow battery is mostly used for the industry or for some large grid application. And the basic construction of some Vanadium Redox flow battery are made from multiple cells which are connected to two external electrode tanks which one tank will hold the analyte and the another tank will hold the catalyte. And these two electrolyte tanks are also connected with some pump for the electrolyte flow. And most important, the electrolyte which is used in this battery is some vanadium based electrolyte mostly made from vanadium pentaoxide or vanadium sulfate. And now I will look into a little bit different vanadium redox flow battery. And this is because I found two really interesting vanadium based batteries which the construction of the battery is really similar to the construction of the vanadium redox flow battery. And the major change which they did to the battery is they replaced the vanadium based electrolyte on one side of the battery. And for example, the company called it Wattujul, they make some vanadium bromide flow battery which means that they replace the vanadium based electrolyte on the positive side of the battery with some bromide based electrolyte. And now the another really interesting vanadium based battery is based on this research paper. So based on the paper they replace the vanadium based electrolyte on the negative side of the battery with zinc based electrolyte. And to be a little bit more specific I think that they use 3 mole of zinc bromide and 1 mole of zinc chloride but the positive electrolyte on the battery is still vanadium based electrolyte. So they use 1.7 mole of vanadium electrolyte with 4 mole of sulfuric acid. And according to the paper, the cell have the voltage of 1.85 volts. And for this reason, I want to make my version of zinc vanadium battery. So here is my vanadium redox battery in this H cell. So the positive and the negative uh, side of the cell is separated by some nafion membrane. And these two compartments are filled with vanadium based electrolyte. And for the contacts, I use some graphite plates. And now based on the research paper, to make some zinc vanadium battery, I need to replace the negative electrolyte with some zinc based electrolyte. But in my case I will only use 2 mole of zinc bromide, only to see what will happen. And first I will clean the negative compartment of this H cell. I will also clean a little bit with some water and now I will fill this compartment with 2 mole of zinc bromide. So at this stage for the negative electrode I can use some zinc but I don't want to make some big changes on this battery. For this reason I will still use this graphite plate. So the only change 
right now at this cell is the negative electrolyte. And now I will charge that cell. Okay, the cell I charge with two volts and I will charge for about five minutes. Now after five minutes of charging, I will disconnect that cell from my power supply. And now I will look to the negative electrode to see if I have some zinc plated on this graphite. And yeah, of course. In five minutes, I get some zinc plated on the negative graphite plate. Now let's check the voltage. One point eight nine volts. Really nice. And just for fun, let's see what current I can get out from this kind of cell right now. But remember that I have some really limited surface area on each electrode and also the electrodes are not tied together. But still, let's see what current I will get. Uh, 10 amps. Two hundred thirty milliamps. Actually, not bad for this setup right now. This is really not bad. Oh, it's a little bit It's a little bit hard to make this Oh It's working Very nice So guys, this was my version of this zinc vanadium battery based on the paper. Really nice. So that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.